In this video, traders, we're going to look at if you're struggling to pull the trigger, try this quick trick. Stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. So I know a lot of traders struggle to pull the trigger. What exactly does that mean? Well, it means that when we get our setup or strategy coming and it's ticking all the boxes and we're ready to go, we hesitate. We hesitate a little bit too much. It goes a little bit further against us. We hesitate even more and we aren't in the trade. We've missed the trade completely. It either goes in our favor or it goes against us. Either way, Generally, it goes in our favor because this is when we remember the ones that we have regret from not pulling the trigger from. We kind of feel quite smug, and I'm not going to this too depth, but we feel smug when we don't pull the trigger and it goes against us. We feel like we end up reinforcing bad behavior, if you like. So the number one thing really before we get into this part is to make sure that you have a strategy. If you don't have a strategy, then you can't be asked to pull the trigger when you think there's a setup. I think that's something that often people overlook genuinely is that and they say, I've got a fear of pulling the trigger, I don't pull the trigger. Well, have you got a definitive method for when you will pull the trigger? Well, I don't. Well, then you can't expect yourself to pull the trigger because all you're going to do is going to remember the ones that are close to what you wanted to get and they've ripped off the upside and you would have made a load of money. You're never going to remember the ones that went to the downside. You're always going to be ambiguity of when you're actually taking the trade. It never works. So make the assumption or I'll make the assumption in this video but before you kind of get to this kind of level make sure you have got a definitive strategy there's exact specific time specific price point specific everything where you pull the trigger that doesn't have to be a specific price as such it could be a, a range of price but at least you've got a know when you have to pull the trigger all right so if you're still not pulling the trigger for whatever reason it's normally I've done a video on this before in a little bit more of a different angle it's it's normally because you don't believe in the system, you aren't prepared to take the risk on the deal. Uh, these kind of things, are, there's, there's a few more out there. Those are genuinely things that are quite often the cause of the root cause of not pulling the trigger. So regardless of what it is, here's a little tip and strategy for you to just do and get to pull the trigger. And we'll kind of take you probably no more than 30 days, maybe 45 days, because often this is time it takes for a habit to crack the nut and move on. And like I always say, guys, if you're trying to approach trading from a discipline perspective rather than an operational perspective, let's put strategies to one side. If there's plenty of things that you'd like to sort out, then it's later focusing on one at a time as opposed to trying to do everything. Okay, so let's get down to it. So the point is, let's imagine you've got your setup and let's imagine you're buying a pullback market's driven up, pullback, and your strategy is to buy somewhere in there and it pushes off whatever the trigger point may be in that and you keep missing it. So what do you do? So what you do is you dial down your size to the very, very minimum. So if you're trading stocks, you do 10 shares. If it's a high price stock, you do one share. If you're spread betting it, then you do the minimum amount you can. And on indices now, because of the new margin, that's something like 0.220 cent, uh, 20 pence a share, uh, 10 pence, depending on what you're doing. You're doing Forex, do a mini lot, a micro lot, whatever. So the point is what you're normally trading, you chop it into a tenth at the minimum. So if you normally trade, you 20 pounds a point, you need to do two pounds a point. If you're normally trading five pounds a point, you need to do 50p. You get the point. If you're trading a thousand shares, then you want to do less than a hundred shares. So you need to try have it right down so that it's meaningless. The point that we're doing this is we're not doing this to generate any income or profit. We're doing this to strengthen the muscles that you need to have strengthened that you're going to pull the trigger when you see the setup and pulling the trigger with real money. Demo, this isn't going to work because we all pull the trigger on a demo because it's meaningless. And the reason we don't pull the trigger is because it has meaning. So without digressing too much, let's stick to this. If you have a signal, you do a tenth or less of your size and you do that without fail for 30 to 45 days. The objective of the exercise is not to make money, it's not to see if the strategy is working, it's none of that, it's to see that you can pull the trigger when your explicit rules are triggered. And again, we have to have those explicit rules, otherwise we can't do it. If you just say I'm buying pullbacks, then you're not giving yourself, you're not doing yourself any favors with that. Just imagine, I've mentioned this before, you employ a trader, you step back from the, the trade and you say, hey, I want you to buy pullbacks, okay? And the guy says, well, 
uh, you know, what, what do you want me to do? You need to be more definitive than that. You need to have correct rules for him. Say, okay, well, pullbacks of X percent from the high, X pips. I want you to buy it if we see this, 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 and this. I don't want you to buy if we see this and this. Very set of rules. That's be overly complicated, but you've got that. At least he knows when to buy it. Now, if he doesn't pull the trigger, then there's something to do. And this is what we're addressing now. If you're not pulling the trigger on those strict set of rules, then we need to address it. So do a tenth of the size at the maximum and just pull the trigger on your setups for the next 30 to 45 days. Number one, that's gonna make you form a habit that you pull the trigger. Number two, and this is a big one, it's going to address the root cause of you not believing that your strategy is effective because one of two things will happen. You'll pull the trigger, you'll look at your data and you'll go, okay, well, if I trade that with a normal size, I'd be up X or I'd be down X. So when you trade it and hopefully, if it's a sound strategy, you look at it and go, okay, well, I would have been up X. You will go, right, well, I need to now pull the trigger with my normal risk amount because it's in my best interests. If you don't see those results, you see that you were down, then you need to address the strategy and the system. And you never will be able to pull the trigger at any meaningful size consistently if you don't truly believe the system or strategy because in your subconscious you'll feel like you're just throwing money down the drain which is one of the things reasons why we sometimes hold back on pulling the trigger so a couple of things there exercising those muscles of pulling the trigger and number two is having confidence and the ability to trust your strategy those are the two benefits from it 30 days 45 days a tenth of the position size pull the trigger no matter what all right guys hope that helps see you next one take care bye bye